Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. Adeboye's son leads Hash Ensas protest, hoodlums attack youth. The Hash Ensas protest continued in different parts of the country on Sunday, with several youth injured after they were attacked by hoodlums. In Lagos, Leke Adeboye, the son of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Hinok Adeboye joined other Nigerian youths at the State Secretariat at Alausa Ikeja. Leke, who led the Sunday church service at the protest grant in front of the Lagos State Government House, said the demonstration signaled the beginning of a new Nigeria. I want all of us to know that this nation has been handed over to us slowly but surely by this singular move that we are all here representing our families, friends, and nation. This is the beginning of the new Nigeria, he said. Also, protesters occupied the Lagos State Ibadan Expressway with a canopy pitched in front of Punch Place. The corporate headquarters of Punch Nigerian Limited at Magboro, Ogun State. They had loud, they had loud speakers, a disc joker, and an ambulance stationed on the protest ground as they sang and danced. The protest caused Greek lock both inward and outward Lagos for long hours. In the Lekki area of Lagos State, the youth arrested and handed over a co-protesters, Yusuf Lawa, to the police for allegedly stealing the phone of another protester. The state police public relations officer, Muyiwa Adejobi, said efforts were on, on to arrest the fleeing members of the gang. Youth blocked CBN office in Abuja. In Abuja, the harsh and SARS protesters occupied the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Mammon's crowd chanted, Hash and SARS, as they blocked the road and paralyzed vehicular movement in the area. The group had earlier spent some hours in front of the office of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation located on Herbert Macaulay Way, Central Business District, before moving to the CBN located about two kilometers away. A member of the movement, Phillips Huche, said seven hoodlums who attempted to attack the protesters were chased away. Worshippers stranded in Benin State. In Benin State, the Hedo State capital, thousands of worshippers coming from their churches were stranded. A quarry road in the city center was almost affected as youths who had earlier planned the protest for Monday came out in large numbers on Sunday. The worshippers and many holders were either forced to trek to their destinations or those in vehicle forced to take alternative route, while those who had no other route to take were made to part with money. In some cases, vehicles were attacked with sticks, clubs, and hands. Also, the entire stretch of the Hauchi Bini Road by the Enya area of the bypass was blocked up by Aduwawa, with only some commercial drivers chanting, Buhari must go, while driving dangerously through the road. The Benin Lagos Highway was still under the control of the protesters, who also worshipped at the spot on Sunday, thus making it impossible for, a not, for anybody coming in or going out of the cities to meander through the street roads. There were also reported cases of robberies, phones and handbag snatching by suspected hoodlums on Saturday night around Ring Road and Aquabia area of Benin State. Meanwhile, members of the Women's National Handball Team, Isoko Nosa Odia, says hoodlums were paid to attack Hatch and SARS protesters on Friday in Benin State, the Edo State capital. So viewers, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? The fact is that this is just a great development that uh, Christians are coming together to join the protest. You know, this is to tell us that Nigeria is still going to be great back again. Nigeria is going to be great again. That's just the meaning because for 
for uh, Adeboye's son to come out and join the protest. It is a big deal. I am telling you the truth. Because we all know before that uh, things, all these things has been happening before now and many Christians do not even deem it fit to join the protest. But for many Christians to come out this time, it shows that new things is coming out. This is a very big revolution that is coming right now. You know, and we are praying that Nigerians is going to smile again. Nigerians is going to be united again. Nigerians is going to be peaceful again. That is just our prayer because it is a good thing that Adeboye's son is actually joining the protest, you know, you know, organizing a prayer party during the protest time. You know, it is a very great thing. And I believe that all the Christians too could have, will actually join the protest at the end of the day. I think by so doing, all, all what I'm praying for is that this issue of protest should not just die down. The, the, the Nigerian youth should make sure that they were able to achieve their goal. That is the main thing. They should make sure because we all know that federal government is going one uh, one side or the other to be able to, to overpower them. That is what they are doing. But God will not give them that chance for them to do, do to do to do so. God will not give them that chance. So this is a very great movement. It's just a great thing for Christians to come out and join the protest because before we before we, we, it's hard for us to see some Christians joining the protest, but it is a very great development. And we should all keep it up like that. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Bye.